Tonight's American Idol recap. Yes, I am wearing a green blanket. <laughs> it's cold, and I'm not. I'm no. It's called the floating head. First, we gotta give a birthday shout out to Tim, and to my favorite floating head. Happy 18th birthday, little Maddie. Thanks. It's actually for Friday, but it's almost Friday. A couple more hours. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's a two for one tonight. Yes, New York City and San Juan, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yes. All right, so it's New York City, baby. How Not else really. are you supposed to arrive? It's like New Jersey. You get in a helicopter and you get out of it in New York. It's Jersey. <laughs> wow, whatever. So, first up, a confident young lady who quit her job because she's just like destined to be the American. Oh, yeah, woman. she's got it, baby. Adiola Adagoki. 19. She's a former bank teller. Please get your job back. Yeah, it wasn't good, and she didn't make it, so Ryan was nice enough to call her boss, and Simon he like, kinda, for her yeah. job. And, and the boss was more than happy. He's like, yeah, she's good. She's uh, a great employee. Yeah. <laughs> so at least that tragedy was averted. Yes. Meanwhile, in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Jorge Nunez stepped up with his huge voice, and he sang uh, my way, I guess, in... Espanol. But then they said, no, no, English, please. So then he uh, sang it in English, which they didn't like as much. But he made it. Yeah, because they want somebody to sing in their accent. They want somebody different. That's why they went to Puerto Rico. Yeah, but I'm sure people are going to argue, but I don't see how Puerto Rico's really, like, American Idol. It's not for us to ask why. Okay. <laughs> why? <laughs> All right, so uh, next up in Puerto Rico. From Je Michigan. Jessica Bayer. <laughs> she was named the world's most beautiful baby. All right, she's, she's 20 now. Right. Um, <laughs> Somebody in her entourage wiped out. Yeah. That was funny. Anyway. You can't beat it. The singing was not good. No. She was really, her voice was very loud and very unrefined yeah so she was like oh i've won all these contests blah 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 yeah she was really busted up when they uh told her um not can not i sing you. something else no <laughs> yeah simon was like no i love that <laughs> simon you're so wonderful so she didn't make it all right so it, then up next was a montage of rejected singers you know the usual yeah pretty good so back to nyc new jersey Melinda Camille. Camille. All right. Her and I have something in common. We both dance naked. In your room. In my room, but I'm wearing my clothes. I dance naked under my clothes, but she dances naked out of her clothes. Mm, yay. <laughs> she had an awesome voice. Yes, I really liked her voice. And I liked her personality because she was very free-spirited and just very fresh. Mm -hmm. I liked her a lot. She so reminded she made me... It. From uh, one of the ladies from America's Next Top Model, although I'm sure it was not. I know. So, about. yes. Jackie Tan up next. She had a really raspy tone. And you know the judges dig the raspy tones. You got a raspy tone? You're in. She sang uh, I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. And the filter <laughs> fell off the window. <laughs> song and I felt like it was real. Yeah, that wasn't a good choice for her. But then when she sang that other song, they were like, uh, yeah. I don't know. I thought it was a little bit too rough but for my taste, but, you know, some people are into that. Yeah, well, I kept you know, thinking that thing in the back, too, was like a crane lifting something up. It was a boat bobbing in the water. And that's what hit the window. No. Okay, small so she mind. Made it. Yes, back in Puerto uh -huh. Rico, there was a Wicked Game montage. You know the song I'm talking about, Chris Isaac. And uh, it included a baby A-Rod from the Yankees. <laughs> Some guy who kept saying please, so we were like, Por, por favor, favor! Por, por favor. favor! Yeah. No. Then there was a high energy montage. <laughs> All right, Kate Cassidy, Carlos Santos, Antion Smith, and of note, Jasmine James. She was a really talented stepper. She really was. She had some nice sounds. She should go on a uh, stepper contest or something <laughs> because she was really good. Mm -hmm. So, from New York again, Mike Perlman. Ugh. Come on. He was playing a 
whatever 80s cheesy punk rocker he was playing his uh what are those things called boombox stereo boombox <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are those things <laughs> i know we all had boomboxes now they have ipods i just couldn't think of it I love yeah. Boombox. They showed more on this guy in, like, the teases than they actually did of his audition. He walked in with his Boombox, and oh, they were like, like, no. <laughs> okay. Back in San Juan. Crazy rocker. This guy was insane. Espanol style. He ran as fast as he could into one of those pull-down security gates. <gasps> and then he impersonated a rat and was hugging people. An iPod. And a superhero. Yay. His name was... Joel Contreras. <laughs> yeah, and, and then he whipped out a lion puppet during his audition. You know he's special because Kara gave him a now sweetie. And I'm sorry, honey. Yeah. He got sweetie, sweetie and, and honey. honey all in one audition. Yeah, that's it's big. Pretty remarkable. Back in New York, <sighs> Nick Mitchell, who's AKA. alter ego. Yeah, alter, alter ego. ego. <laughs> alter ego is Norman Gentle. All right. He likes it gentle. So this guy was full of gimmicks. Um, yeah. Simon was like, I just want something serious. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I forgot what they were saying, but the guy whipped out this, like, Simon Seacrest love affair joke. It was hot. Yeah. Simon was digging it, too, because then he was like, he was like I'm yeah. intrigued. <laughs> the pen in the mouth. Yes. And then uh, he said, well, it's time to pull out the amazing grace. I'm going to need a chair and my glasses for this. It wasn't that bad. Like, I he thought could it carry was it really too. good. Simon was captivated. He went from to yeah, like that was <laughs> good. I don't really see him like singing a ballad or anything. Well, you know, as Kara said, you don't have a chance in hell, sweetie. But I'm saying <laughs> yes. Yeah, so he made it. Yeah, he did. With three out of four votes. I can't wait for Hollywood Week. So back in NYC. I'm, I'm so excited montage of yeses. Mm -hmm. Ashley Hollister, yes. Kenny Hoff Power. Yes. That's my favorite last name Me right now. Me too. Kendall Beard. It's a yes, oh, it sweetie. Is. Okay, so now three no's. Nicole Laraway. Mm -mm. Mark Granta. No. <laughs> and Michael. Sconyers. It's Sorry. a nay, a no, or a nine. Yes. So not a bar. No, <laughs> that's an eight. <laughs> yeah. So in San Juan, this little tiny girl, sixteen years old. Her name is Monique Garcia Torres. She brought her brother Christopher. Very cute. Very cute. I think he was like nine. Very likable. He totally was the agent, her go between uh with Oh, the judges. she's great. <laughs> what should she do, Christopher? What should she do, Christopher? <laughs> okay, so she sang her little songs, two of them, and uh, Kara was trying to be kind to her and say, Oh, sweetie, your voice is not fully developed yet. And she got the kiss of death, though, yeah. from Simon. It exactly. was cabaret. Yes, but after Kara and uh, whatever her name is, Paula, <laughs> dashed her hope, Simon was uh, rethinking it, and he was like, I'm going to say yes. Yeah. And of course, with Randy's yes, that means she's going to Hollywood. So sorry, sweetie. It's a yes. <laughs> All right. New York City, the final contestant. Oh, Lord. Is this woman still around? Alexis Cohen? Yeah. She. Everybody remembers her last year when she auditioned. I'm going to go do some actressing. <laughs> take it. Take it. Take it, Simon. Well, she sexed it up a little bit. She, she the really looks changed have improved. her. Her whole the, persona. Yes, the attitude has improved. The lipstick was the same, but the singing was worse. <laughs> yeah. It was really bad. But you know what? She handled herself well, and I'm really happy for her. Doesn't matter, because she said, Puck you, Mies. No, she didn't. <laughs> but I wish she did. Well, yeah. She gave him the finger. Yeah. Well, both. Both, both fingers. Because, you know, for She gave him all sake. the available fingers, and she felt much better then. She got out of that dress and let her hair down. So the last contestant in San Juan... Patricia Lewis Roman. Roman. Uh, her parents were married at the hotel that they were having the auditions. That's pretty cool. And she had about a hundred people with her with drums. They were and... all partying up all day. Yeah. So, she sang Whitney. I want to dance with somebody. Not a good song to pick. <laughs> sing something else. Yeah. So She sang like a Spanish song. And they really liked it. It did have a nice flavor to it. Paula said no. She went against the grain. I know. Didn't Paula get the memo on this one? Oh. Everybody when does Paula say no? Everybody knows the last one of the auditions has to be upbeat. 
Paula, read the memos next time. Don't just throw them in the corner. So that was a yes. So all in all, nine from Puerto Rico. And 26 from New York, New Jersey. Wow, I'm excited. Only a few more days left before Hollywood. And it's supposed to be the most dramatic Hollywood ever, ever, ever. Yay. We'll be the judge of that. Till then, much, much love. love.